So how did I do this? So this is the original image from uh, Google, uh, which I just cleaned it up in After Effects using Clone Stamp tool and uh, replaced it with a CG bridge that I destroyed in 3ds Max. So this is the uh, 3ds Max project. What I did is just I modeled a bridge using a box and just mapped the image to to the uh, bridge to the box and just destroyed using tr uh, 3ds Max plugin Rayfire, uh, which is a very powerful plugin for destroying stuff in 3ds Max. So let's just begin. Uh, I'm going to show you on how to do the camera map technique. So what you're going to do first is change the viewport background in one of your viewport to the picture uh, image picture that you want to map for guidance so it's not going to be rendered and now you're going to make the object for the bridge for a bridge uh, which is I'm going to make a box here and uh, I'm going to move the box until I f uh, until it's aligned with the bridge in the background so what I'm doing here just basically I make a box which later I'm going to map the image to the box. So if you want to map the whole image here, you want to uh, make the ground and also the trees or anything. But I'm just going to make, map the bridge, so I make just the box here, just for the bridge. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to align the bridge. That looks pretty good. Maybe scale it down and maybe you would like to change it to wireframe so it's easier to you know align the box to the background and now that's actually pretty good so go back to realistic and yeah now you're going to go to modify which is uh, we're going to give uh, the object a uh, camera map modifier remember modifier not uh, the other one the WSM not that one the modifier one camera map so yeah and then you're going to make a camera, new camera, which I forgot to do here. <laughs> so basically what we're doing is we're creating a camera that has the same angle uh, as the uh, image. So the camera map works like a projector. So the camera is going to project the image to the object in front of it. it. So yeah, I'm going to align this um, pr perspective view, maybe move it a little, just um, matched it. And we're going to create a new camera, create camera, create camera from view. And we just made a camera from that perspective view. So we're going to go to camera map modifier from the image uh, object and pick camera and pick that camera that match the angle of the uh, image now you're going to material editor and make a new material diffuse mat diffuse map bitmap and going to use the background image and drag it to the object and you see the shaded material and you're done basically that's it that's camera map now after this you might want to um, destroy it with a ray fire um, which is what I did uh, so I'm, I think I'm not going to do a tutorial maybe later but if you run a ray fire simulation you may have a problem like me um, which is like this. See the problem? That's right. 
The map got messed up. Look. What the heck is that? So what's happening here? Uh, I'm not really sure exactly why, but I think Rayfire um, somehow messed up the modifier uh, box, I guess. So the camera map disappears, see? So maybe we could just um, block the pieces and apply camera map. The camera and we're done? No, we're not done, my friend. We still have a problem. The map still messed up like crazy. So I don't know a faster way to fix this, but what I did is I pick up one of the pieces and I delete the camera map and reapply uh, the camera map. Take the camera and that fixed. Take another, um, delete the camera map, reapply. A camera and I just I'm going to do this to every piece <laughs> this is painful but this is actually what I did in the original project so I don't know maybe if you have a faster way to to fix this let me know in the comments but this is how I did this so that's it that's the tutorial guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or maybe you know a faster way to fix this problem, um, just let me know in the comments. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you later. Bye.